Hello astronomers. Myself Ranjit Kumar. I am an astronomer and an astronomy educator with Space India. In this video, we are going to unbox 6-inch GSO Dobsonian telescope. Once we unbox, we are going to understand how to assemble them and after that we are going to understand how to point this particular telescope towards any particular object. So this particular telescope comes with two boxes. One box will have the mount, other box will have the optical tube. So let me show you the two boxes. So these are the two boxes we have from this particular telescope. So let's open the smaller box first. So this smaller box have another smaller box inside it. I will show you what is inside the box in a while. So it has two legs for the mount. I want to keep this aside as well. The leg connected. So using this we can connect the two legs. And it have two base. We will understand the use of all the five different wooden pieces once we assemble the mount of the telescope. So I am going to keep this aside as well. So that's it from the smaller box. So let's come to the bigger box. So this bigger box have the optical tube. So I am going to take the optical tube out from the box. Be very careful while doing this. And we have one more uh, smaller box. So in the smaller box, we have the eyepiece and other optical things. So now we have taken out the mount and the optical tube out from the box. So let's assemble our telescope. So we unbox the 6 inch GSO Dobsonian telescope. Now I am going to unbox the 8 inch GSO Dobsonian telescope because both the telescope have the same parts. Okay. I am going to unbox the 8 inch GSO Dobsonian telescope. First I am going to open the smaller box. As we have 5 wooden pieces in the GSO 6 inch telescope, similarly we have the 5 wooden plates. One, the connector, the leg connector. So we have two legs. And we also have two circular plates. So these five wooden pieces are same. I'm going to keep it on the box itself. And we have the smaller box. So now I'm moving towards this box. So let's open this box. If I show you what is available in the optical tube box, we have a tube and we have a pouch. So in this pouch we have the viewfinder and the eyepieces and we have a battery adapter. I will tell you what is the use of the battery adapter at the end. So I am going to just keep it in this side. And if I take out the optical tube, let me take out. The only thing we have extra in the 8 inch Dobsonian telescope is the battery adapter. So why this battery adapter we need? Because uh, as the size of a telescope increases, the mirror size increases, what happens? There are some problem arises. So it is necessary to maintain the temperature of the telescope constant. Telescopes are generally mean for ambient condition. The place we choose for stargazing may change. It can be a desert, it can be a cool region. So to maintain the proper temperature, we, we use this battery and a cooler fan is attached at the back of the telescope. So how to connect the battery with the telescope? So take out the battery from the cover and you can see there is a pin over here. Put 8 batteries, so 4 this side, 4 this side. So you can see there is a single flick point over here. So what we have to do, we have to take the pin and we have to insert like this. So once we did this, now our telescope will not undergo any change because of the temperature. So that is the role of this thing. This is the only thing we have extra in the 8 inch Dobsonian telescope. Other things are common. In the assembling part of the telescope, first we are going to assemble the mount of the telescope. 
So in the mount path, we have two circular wooden base plates and we have two mount legs and we have one mount connector. As I told in the beginning, I'm going to explain what is this smaller box consists of. So now I'm going to unbox this smaller box. In the smaller box, first I'm going to open the zip bag. So it has three bushes. It consists of eight iron screws. We have eight of them. One Allen key. Two silver screws. And three brass screws. And we have two springs. I'll tell you what is the use of the spring. We have the handle to lift or to hold our mount. We have some screws and other things which will be helpful in connecting the spring with the mount. And we have the base plate connector. So I'm going to keep this in the cover itself. And we have the accessory tray in the box. So this accessory tray we can fix using the two screws. So these are the things available in the smaller box. So let's assemble the telescope okay. mount. So here I am ready with one of the mount legs. So in the mount leg you can find three holes. One, two and three. But in the other mount, sorry, in the other leg we have five holes. So you can find one, two, three, four and five. We have five holes. So these two holes we can connect the axillary tray. So other three holes are common for both the legs. So I am going to first take one of the leg and in the leg, in the, in the middle hole, you can find there is a screw head. Make sure that screw head will be pointed inside of the telescope like this. So now what we are going to do, we are going to attach the leg connector plate with the two legs. So for that, as you can see, there are two holes. Similarly, in the side of the in the side of the connector also there are two holes we have to coincide both of them once they are coincided insert the iron nail and use the allen key to tighten the screw So now we have connected one leg of the mount with the connector. So similarly connect the other leg also and make sure again the screw head will point inside the mount. So now we have attached the connector with the legs. So while attaching make sure the three screw heads so one two three all three screw heads has to face towards the telescope and uh, also make sure this u shape one one two three this has to come at the top of the uh, mount now we have fixed the leg with the connector next we have to attach the leg with the plate so we have two base plates one with uh, totally five holes and the other with one hole with three plastic patches and if I turn the other side we have three small holes so these three small holes are for bushes so we have three bushes to attach the bush with the base plate use brass screws you can use some screwdrivers to connect them So in one base plate, we have attached the bushes, take the other base plate and we have to fix this base plate with the mount. You can see we have four holes and at the bottom of the leg also you can find some holes, one, two, three, four. Make sure when you attach the, when you fix both of this, this has to come outside. So the screw head can fix properly on the hole. Make all the four holes coincide. And use iron screws.
now we have fixed one of the base plate with the legs next step we have to fix both the base plates to fix this i'm going to use this base plate connector screw and some washers it also has a small silver tube so first what we have to do we have to put all the washer inside the screw so in this hole we have to insert the tube like this slightly it will extend and make sure the silver tube will go in this hole so now take the screw with washers and then insert it so now our mount is ready all the five wooden pieces are fixed down so next we have to fix the handle for the mount so to fix the handle i'm going to take the handle and i'm going to use two silver color screws you can find there is a hole two holes and there are two holes over here so insert the screw make it coincide and then tighten it now we have fixed the handle with the mount now i can able to move my uh, mount in left to right movement you can see i can able to move but if you tighten this completely then i cannot able to move my telescope left to right so don't tighten it fully make it semi tight so that we can able to move our telescope after this next step we have to attach the axery tray over here so what we have to do we have to take the axery tray and we have to take the two small screws make it coincide then fix it so now our mount is completely ready so next step we have to attach our optical tube with the mount to keep the optical tube on the mount first we have to take the optical tube out from the cover so just remove the cover from the optical tube so the next step they are two supports extended from the optical tube so what we have to do we have to put the two supports on the mount so now we have mounted the optical tube on the mount next we have to fix the optical tube with the mount so for that we are going to use the spring so as we know we have two springs and we have some screws on the cover so i'm going to take everything out from the cover it has two washers two bigger screws two black color screws it has two rings and we have four plastic connectors now we are going to fix the optical tube with the mount to fix it what we have to do we have to take all these three things spring the screw and the plastic connector first insert the smaller side of the plastic connector with the spring then take the screw and insert the screw like this so we have fixed the top part of this so similarly do the same for the other side so once we attach the spring next step what we have to do we have to connect the ring with the spring you can also attach a ring with the with the spring first then you can uh, insert the screw as well we have fixed the spring and the ring next what we have to do we have to take these three things the plastic tube the black color screw and the washer so insert the washer first and then the smaller side of the plastic tube and then tighten this so once it is done you can extend it like this so similarly do the same for the other side 
so now our telescope assembly part is done and you can see there are some places for the eyepieces so we can keep our eyepiece over here so for that i'm going to take another box so we have this box i'm going to just uh, open the box so now i open the box in the box we have one two three four and five smaller boxes out of the five box we have three small boxes so among the three small boxes we have two eye pieces and one extension so you can you can see which one is the extension which one is the eye piece on the top of the box so it is mentioned on the top of the box so first let's talk about the eye piece first so we have two different kinds of eye pieces one 9 mm and the other one 25 mm the basic difference between the eyepiece is the magnification. With 9mm, we can magnify more when compared to the 25mm. The smaller the eyepiece mm, the more magnification we can do with the telescope. So I'm going to take the eyepiece out from the box. Remove the cap from the both sides. The use of the extension, I will explain in a while. So now we have these two boxes. I'm just going to take both the things out from the box. So in this box we have two things. One the bracket, other one the valve band. I'm going to take the finder scope out from the cover. So finder scope, finder scope also have two caps. Just to remove the caps. So now we are going to attach the finder scope with the optical tube. So you can see there is a place for the finder scope. Just to loosen the screw. Just loosen the screw and you can find there is an extension over here. If you look at closely there will be one extension. So make sure that extension will go at the bottom part. Like this. And then tighten the screw. So now we have attached the bracket with the optical tube. Next step what we have to do, we have to insert the finder scope on the support bracket. Before that we have to take the rubber band, we have to insert the rubber band on the finder scope and you can see there is a place for the rubber band. So just put the rubber band like this. In the support bracket also we have three things, two screws and the other one we have spring. So what we have to do, we have to loosen these two screws. Once the viewfinder is inserted, we have to tighten the screws. After fixing the finder scope, next we have to understand how to put the eyepiece. So you can see there is a cap over here. Just to loosen this screw, remove the cap. Take any of the two eyepieces. If you are a beginner, always begin with the 25mm eyepiece. As it covers more area, we can point the object easily. Here I am taking the 25mm eyepiece. So once you have inserted the eyepiece, just tighten the screw. And we have these two knobs over here. So these two knobs are used for focusing the object. It is expanding and it can come back. So that is it from the assembling part of the telescope. Let's understand how to align this telescope towards any particular object. So to align our telescope towards any particular object, first we have to remove the cap from the telescope. The first step in the aligning part of the telescope is to align the viewfinder with the optical tube. To align both the viewfinder and the optical tube, first we have to point any terrestrial object like buildings, towers, trees. So you can point any terrestrial object. So let's say I have a terrestrial object in front of me. So let's say the camera is a terrestrial object. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just make the movement. See, so this movement is called as azimuthal movement. So I can make my telescope to move left to right movement. So now my telescope is moved. Next, we have the altitude movement. So this top and bottom movement is the altitude movement. So to point the camera first, we have to align the telescope. So we have to do first manual adjustments slightly. You can keep an eye on the eyepiece and with the minimum movement, 
you can able to find the camera so we have pointed the camera in the eyepiece so we have to make the same camera in the center of the viewfinder as well if the camera is not in the center of the viewfinder you can adjust these two screws to make it center from the viewfinder you can keep your eyes on this and uh, you can find plus symbol so make sure the object comes in the middle of the plus symbol so if it is not in the middle just adjust these two screws to make it in the center once we got the same object in the center of the viewfinder and in the center of the eyepiece now our telescope is ready to go now we understood how to point a terrestrial object with the help of the telescope next let's move to the celestial objects first you have to get the object in the viewfinder as the viewfinder covers more area it, it will be easy for us to to point an object in the viewfinder and in the night time there will not be anything in the sky it will be difficult for you to find a star a planet anything from the eyepiece directly so it will be easy for us to first point the object from the wider area so the viewfinder covers more area first try to point the object from the viewfinder once you got the object in the center of the viewfinder then obviously it will be in the center of the eyepiece as well because we aligned both the finder scope and the optical tube this is how we point any object from this particular telescope and i told you about the extension so i'm going to take the extension out from the box two things on the cover one extension tube and the other one a screw we use extension majorly for astrophotography so sometimes we need to connect the dslr camera with the telescope so in that case it will be difficult for us to get proper focus so at that time you can use the extension to get proper focus in the same way if you are going for a less mm eyepiece for example now we have a minimum 9 mm eyepiece if you want to go uh, even less mm eyepiece then this extension comes to play in that time the extension will be helpful to get proper focus while doing astrophotography and to observe any celestial object with less mm eyepieces so how to fix the extension just to take the eyepiece out and you can insert the extension here once it is inserted tighten this then put the screw and there is a place for the screw as well just insert the screw put the eyepiece back in and then tighten the screw so now we have extended the focus point to some extent so this is the use of the extension so that is it from my side and i hope you understood how to assemble this telescope and how to point the telescope towards any particular object we'll meet you all in another video soon so until this it is bye from my side this is ranjit signing off and wish you all clear skies happy ending everyone bye bye